Welcome everyone to the next in our series of interviews with the gold sponsors of the WMF. If you haven't been following along over the past couple of years, we've been trying to highlight various different sponsors who've fallen under the gold umbrella at the WMF and sharing support for them because they've shared support for the WMF and mini golf as a whole uh, without international championships or major championships um, being able to be played the past couple of years. This has been a good way for us um, to show our love and appreciation for those who are sharing their love and appreciation with us. Um, you can find all of our list of gold sponsors on the website, minigolfsport.com. They're down the bottom with various links to their websites, and we encourage you to go check them out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll also find the links in the description below as well. So today in this episode, we are going to look at City Golf, and I have with me Connie Johansson from City Golf, and I will start by turning it over to him to give a little bit of background about himself and the company. Yeah, hi, Pat. Uh, really nice to be um, participating in this interview and, and be able to show our part and, and the collaboration with you, WMF. Uh, we have a, a long history as a company, City Golf Europe, extending from 1938. We started to produce uh, at first felt courses, a classic type of mini golf courses. Uh, in, in the north of Sweden, and we have uh, continued to do so, produced over 2,300 courses. And for the past 20 years, we have also extended uh, our business to uh, the more modern adventure golf courses, more integrated courses, and, uh, and are showing both products a lot of uh, quality and value for, for our customers. Uh, we are very proud for both segments. Uh, showing off um, and one big part of the adventure golf uh, product is uh, the competition courses of course um, the most uh, mini golf open standard courses and also still uh, producing a lot of felt uh, competition courses as well so uh, uh, yeah um, we are very proud both to um, provide courses for for the mini golf community I think it's a, it's a great community uh, to, to be a part of and also very proud to be a sponsor uh, for you uh, and, and working together with you. Excellent. And how about yourself? What's your role in the company? Yeah, it, it's uh, we have a long history as a company, but my history at the company is uh, stretching over a year now. So I'm, I'm working as a sales and marketing uh, coordinator and also working with communication parts. So um, I got some strings in everything here, <laughs> here in the company. So okay. yeah, but uh, as, as I mentioned, I, I was struck that at uh, first day for the welcome from, from everyone, uh, competitors, players, and, and the customers. And uh, it's a really good feeling in, in, the, in this area of, of business and sports. So uh, ah, glad to be a part of it as, as a person as well. Excellent. Yeah, and we'll talk a little bit more about the, the mini golf products in a minute. But uh, you know, if anybody goes to your website, you'll see you've expanded a lot more than just mini golf products, too. There's the, the bowling yeah. and the arcade side of stuff. So I'm wondering, yeah. you know, when we look at kind of around the world, um, you both were where I am in the United States and Europe and stuff, you kind of have some companies that are very specialized in just the mini golf space, other companies that do more. You know, I'm wondering from your perspective, you know, do you find any challenges in kind of expanding? Do you see it as just something that's a natural part of the business, the way things are going now and the way people consume entertainment? But what was that motivation and maybe a little bit of insight into where do you think it's going for the company? I, I, I really think that we have our history and culture uh, that we're standing very firm in. Uh, so the adventure golf and mini golf is the main business for us and will be so uh, it's our our identity so i'm very proud of it uh, then of course we are looking for uh, for uh, other options to, co to complete our business uh, for, for uh, a wider range of uh, persons and customers uh, and we see we have uh, some additional games that uh, persons buying our courses could uh, add to their business 
So we have some add-on games that I can add to uh, Adventure Golf Course. I can add like football billiards on shuffleboard and, and that type of uh, activities. But also we are, of course, listening to, um, to, to the drums and, and what's happening in the future. And, and uh, we have a, a well-developed uh, thing uh, with more technology-inspired uh, activities as well that we are hoping to, hoping to launch uh, during 2022 as well. So uh, a bit with them uh, connected to the mini golf as well. Oh, awesome. Looking forward to that. Uh, you know, you mentioned that the competition courses, um, I think, especially from any of our folks who are viewing in the United States, we're most familiar with your adventure style courses through things like the World Adventure Golf Masters, where they've been featured. Um, you know, one question, you know, I have as a United States putter is you don't have any courses in the United States. Is that a, you know, a market that you're eventually targeting? I know there's obviously international challenges and stuff, but what are your, your thoughts on giving some of us some hope that we might see you over here sometime? Yeah, we are hoping as much as you to, to, to make that step. Uh, it, it's a bit, it's a big step going off over the Atlantic, but uh, we are investigating every possibility to expand our business. Uh, but of course, in, in everything we do, we, we want to do with quality. We want to do good projects, and, and it's um, it's a process with projects as well. And moving over the Atlantic and doing it in the states, uh, we want to get there, and, and hopefully in, in the near future. But it's a process, and uh, and I, I also have um, the res- responsibility of uh, taking care of the social media for this company. I follow uh, many great accounts uh, for for mini golfers in in the states, and they are they are doing the trip to different type of courses, and it looks great. And and we really want to be there, showing off of our courses as well, of course, um, and hope to do so. Okay, uh, you know, from a, a mini golf perspective, you mentioned a little bit about kind of technology being the, the next big thing. But you know, overall, have you seen you know even with the pandemic times that we're in, an, an expansion of people engaging with mini golf and building courses? I mean, from an outsider who just enjoys it, it seems like there's just been so much more mini golf in the past 10 years than the 10 years before that when I really started with the game, which is yeah. great. But is there, you know, anything that you're specifically looking towards of, okay, this is, this is the trend that we know is coming in mini golf or, um, you know, any thoughts around just the, the economics of where we see this business growing? Is it a saturated market? Are you guys still building and finding areas uh, to expand into? <laughs> Yeah, uh, still, real is still is expanding business, and uh, of course, we as a company and, and a branch also were affected of the pandemic. Uh, it was a it wasn't a, a long stop for us, but a first reaction. Then it just kept going again. Uh, the business and and opportunities and and uh, the business op- owners and operators uh, they really see the. Uh, the need of these type of courses uh, in in all, also when they have competitors nearby they see the possibility to still have a business uh, with their place to have a course and uh, yeah I, I think it's still growing very very fast and it's an activity both as a sport and entertainment uh, for everyone so it, it really has an attraction and I think during the pandemic as well, it was uh, an activity that that worked for everyone. As long as it wasn't like quarantine or anything, uh, it was a good outdoor activity for many. Thinking about now uh, the partnership with the WMF, um, certainly you guys have been partnered together for a long time. You, In terms of, I guess, talking to other potential companies who might want to come and join on as a gold sponsor. What do you see as the the most important part of having that partnership with the WMF? Uh, I think it re- really shows uh, that it's company to have a compassion to the sport. Uh, I think a lot of acknowledge that and uh, show and see that uh, it is a company that that want to not only do business but show that they stand for something good uh, to be a part of the federation as a as a partner. 
And I know uh, locally in Sweden, you've partnered up as part of the, what's it, the Swedish Adventure Golf Tour there uh, as well that started. Um, And that's something I know from a U.S. perspective we've looked at and been very interested in terms of how that's been pulled together and the sponsorship and the the following there. Um, So a, a local base there as well. Do you see that as also, you know, very important if you're a mini golf company to have that, you know, local connection with the putters? Yeah, uh, we, we see it's uh, it's a city golf tour uh, and, and uh, we agreed along with uh, an alliance called, called Moos Alliance in Sweden uh, that is uh, planning and, uh, and uh, putting this competition uh, to, to be produced and uh, to be played. Uh, and we are sponsoring it for three years. We have done it for the first year. It was premiered during 2021. Uh, and it was played on uh, at, at, at least four locations. They had to uh, give up some playing dates because of the COVID uh, situation. But they hopefully going to play all seven locations in Sweden this year. And uh, with the final uh, being played in Haga in, in Stockholm. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting uh, year with this tournament. Awesome. I know we'll love to follow along with that. Um, again, turning your eye to the future, wh- where do you think mini golf is going to, to go as a competitive sport in the future? What do you think you would like to see mini golf and the WMF be moving towards, you know, in the short term, the next couple of years, as we, you know, hopefully come out of the pandemic here, but, you know, even long-term, you know, as a sponsor and partner with the WF, what would you like to see us work towards and achieve? Yeah. Uh, I know you're, you're doing a massive job as a federation, but I hope that, uh, an impact and pressure from the community in, in full that's going to be acknowledged as a more, more even more uh, in, improved and accepted sport uh, in like Olympic terms or if it's going to be able to, to be a part of Olympics in the future it would be a dream uh, to be a more recognized sport because uh, I've been attended some of the competitions uh, for yeah, the most competitions City Golf Tour and it's really great skilled players, so they deserve more. Uh, the competitors in the sport. So I, I hope the sport of mini golf gonna have even more um, honor to to its name and to the sport. And I think that uh, you are gonna be a great part of it, and and hope that uh, we all uh, producers uh, bringing the courses out and. and and connected business connected to this sport will will do their part as well yeah certainly a a rising tide will lift all the boats hopefully (laughs) yeah okay well that is you know all i had to to cover today so i will turn it over to you to see if you have any you know parting thoughts or, or words for the folks you know viewing this no just just keep uh loving the game and and uh and uh have fun uh, that's that's the main part of uh, the mini golf sport and um, of course uh, you know where we are and uh, and uh, we will keep keep being great uh, and partner for a long history with with the federation as well well th- thank you connie thank you city golf for your, your partnership um, once again as a reminder everyone watching you'll be able to find links to the WMF, to City Golf, and to some other information in the description of the video. And we hope that you're watching, liking, and subscribing to the WF, because hopefully this year with international competitions, knock on wood, being back on the table, our YouTube channel will have a lot more competitive information and views and be able to uh, showcase those athletes like we talked about. So thank you, everyone. And thank you, Connie, for your participation. Thank you, Pat. Nice seeing you. I seen you.